start up Dr. Racket in Lang Racket and get the image library so we can draw some fractals. Remember the fractal Serpinski had the problem of having all of these redundant calls to SERP, which took extra time to compute. Similarly, the Catalan function has many redundant calls to C of I, where I is less than N. The Fibonacci function is another function where the natural way to define it inefficiently calls many, many copies of itself and has to evaluate them. The way to deal with this is memoization, but we don't want to have to write memoization code redundantly. We'd like to do it once and for all. So let's create a function called memoizef. Takes a function f and memoizes it. The first thing memoizef needs is to define a hash table to keep track of results that our function produces. Now we produce a new version of f called fmem, which is memoized. Dot args simply says whatever arguments f uses are put in a list called args. The simple case is we've already seen f used on these args, and we go to our hash table and retrieve that value. So if we've seen the key args before in ht, we use href to get them back. Otherwise, we need to put the value in the hash table. So that uses hash set. And what do we set the entry with key args to? Well, we apply f to the args. f has been evaluated when memoize was called to the body of whatever function was supplied as f. Suppose it was fib itself, then f is bound to the body of fib. But here's a neat thing. The invocation of fibs in the body of fib are bound to some function at the top level of this environment, and that we will see we can change later. It's fib now, but it might be memoized fib later. Once we've stored it in the table, we can retrieve it, again using hash ref. Now we're almost done. The only thing left to do is provide the color of memoize with our memoized version. Let's see if this improves things. I've commented out these three lines that set SERP, C, and FIB to their memoized version, so let's recall their slow performance before. SERP at 9 took about a second to evaluate. C of 14 also takes about a second as does fib of 32. Now, a second doesn't seem like a lot, but it is a lot for a computer. And recall that this grows exponentially as the arguments get larger. So let's uncomment these three set statements. So we are setting our function names to their memoized versions. And let's see if we see an improvement in performance. So if we time SERP at 9, the CPU time is barely anything, 4 milliseconds. There's some time to display it, but the second time around it hardly takes time to do that either. Zero CPU time recorded for the Catalan function at 14, similarly for FIB of 32. Try FIB of 100 on an unmemoized version and you'll be waiting quite a while.